You know, I don't even need to watch this clip because I know what happened. But that will go down as one of the most iconic moments in Love Island history. Hi, I'm Ayal and I'm reviewing this week's Love Island with Cosmopolitan UK. Lucy, she did say last night that never say never. And I think it's true. In the Love Island Villa, you can never say never. Could you be happier was the question of my season. Obviously, Tommy was so infatuated by Lucy at the start. He was, and we all saw that. I get he's moved on, but there's always maybe that slight what if. Tommy and Molly May are pretty happy. So I think it would take a lot and Lucy would really have to rustle some feathers and put a graft in if that was ever even gonna happen. Ooh. I think a lot of people think Molly's playing a game. I personally don't think she's playing a game more than anyone else is playing a game. You know, they're, they're on Love Island. It is at the end of the day, kind of a game show, but a game show to find love. I think that she genuinely likes Tommy and I don't think she's the one whose head will turn. I think at first she was a bit wary of him, but I think she's fallen harder for him at this moment in time. I think he really likes her, but yeah. You know, I don't even need to watch this clip because I know what happened, right? Okay, so Tom, he screwed up real bad. He was trying to give it the big and in front of the boys, thinking that Maura was nowhere to be seen and he'll just, you know, say, oh, is she all talk and all of this. Maura is always everywhere to be seen and nothing gets past her and she heard. She heard what he said. He then tried to say to Maura that he said something else. And it's like, come on, mate. We have all seen it. She's seen it. There's cameras everywhere. Like, you can't, you can't lie about that. It just, it doesn't work. I think every woman everywhere in the country watching that sat on their sofa felt empowered by Maura. And I think it's fair play because she was so ready to take him. She was so nice about it. And then he kind of mugged her off. But that will go down as one of the most iconic moments in Love Island history for me. This is when it came down to Arabella and Yuande and Danny was picking. I thought Danny was talking about Yuande. <laughs> because Yuande is a scientist, she's a clever girl, they had this connection that they've spoken about, you know? And then all of a sudden he dropped Arabella and Yuande was going. So I was, I was in awe on the sofa, I didn't really know what to do. Amber cracks me up just because she's so confident and she actually doesn't care what anyone thinks. I think they are the most genuine couple within there. I think we saw them at the very beginning kind of float around each other and be a bit wary of each other. And Amber was into Michael but didn't tell anyone. And over time we've seen them really evolve and become a really nice couple. And so I'm actually rooting for them. And I think at this stage, if anyone can win it, in terms of compatibility and who is most right for each other, I'd say these two are. I, I can't, I don't even know what the word is for it, but I love Curtis, <laughs> so I like Amy, for default, really. I do think they have a future. It's not a definitive future <laughs> in my eyes just yet, because we do have Casper Moore coming up. I just don't see like fireworks, you know, I don't see this mm, of them really like being sexually attracted to each other. And that's not everything about a relationship, but I think in Love Island, that is what you want, is some good sexual chemistry along with some mental chemistry as well. Who do I think will be tested in Casper more? Well, Anton and Lucy, because they're not really in a couple. I think potentially Jordan and Anna. I, I don't want to say it because I want them to work, but I think maybe Curtis and Amy. See, Casper Moore is a dangerous, dangerous situation. George Reigns, 22 from Essex, and he's a builder. He's got some abs on him. <laughs> Chiseled jawline. Who knows? Good looking geezer. Maria Wilde, 22 from Cheltenham, VIP host. She's got Wild in her surname. Someone likes Wild, then hopefully she's it. They've held some good ones back. That's the worry. But again, these people do have to have personality. It's not all about how hot they are. I learned that the hard way. There's some serious people going in here. Bella Hassan, 21 from Bromley, makeup artist. I feel like Curtis likes blondes. I feel like she might 
test them a little bit. I think all of them will be cuts this time. <laughs> I'll be honest. Denon Lewis, 21 from Watford, professional footballer. Some girls like footballers, you know? It's just how it is. I, I know some of these are gonna have charm and character and, and that's all it takes really when you're away from that person that you've spent every day with for a few days and all of a sudden you forget about them and you fall for somebody else. If you take it back to my season and we saw Catherine Moore, you remember some things that happened. I'm not gonna name names, but there are some people coming down those steps with people that we never expected them to because they wanted to be with the person in the villa until they got into Catherine Moore. So, it's gonna be an interesting week. Thanks very much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button somewhere around here.